Tonight, a warning for parents. Avoid diagnosing and treating your child with prescription medications from across the border. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez joins us in our studio with more on why this could be a dangerous mistake. Today, a parent brought this bottle from Mexico to a pediatrician's office in the Valley. That doctor says this is a common sight and a problem. Little Isaiah hasn't been himself lately. He's been coughing a lot and um, he's just like, in, he's been moody and stuff. So, uh, and he's usually like so calm and so happy. And I just do think that like his throat hurts. Karina Rodriguez is concerned about her three month old boy. Before coming to the doctor, she looked up home remedies and possible solutions. I just read like that it wasn't like good like to um, buy just medication and give it to him because he's like too little. It's like risking his life. Pediatrician Dr. Maria Jimenez understands the desire to immediately want to treat a child. She says many parents who choose to go to Mexico and are frequently prescribed three medicines. Clofeniramine and antihistamine. One of them, like the chlorpheniramine, we don't really give to children less than six years of age. Paracetamol, a Tylenol equivalent, and amantadine, an antiviral medication. Amantadine can cause hallucinations, um, paracetamol can cause liver uh, damage. Dr. Jimenez tells us there are two scenarios. Parents can diagnose and treat children for the wrong illness. She says healthy children can run the risk of getting the side effects of those medicines. Second scenario, they are sick with a cold or flu, but they get dosing wrong. If the parents are not really well versed or instructed on the dosing, they can easily overdose a patient. Let's say dosing is right. Dr. Jimenez says the medicine could treat the symptoms, but fail to address the source. They're probably going to still have the flu, but with the paracetamol that they have in it, maybe the fever will go away and they'll start feeling better, but still their flu is not going to be treated. So they continue going to school and continue going to daycare and continue exposing other children. In a time when the flu can claim a life, parents like Arina don't want to take any chances. I do want to get like med medication or something that's going to like make him like eat better and stuff because he hasn't been eating like how he does. She's hoping to leave the doctor's office with something that will help Isaiah feel better. Dr. Jimenez recommends parents consider the flu shot for their children this cold and flu season. In the studio of Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.